Welcome back guys, in this video I'll be showing you how to combine OptiScaler's TLSS Subscaler with official FSR 3.1 frame generation in Indiana Jones and the Great Circle. This guide will work on any PC that has an RTX GPU. I'll be testing the game on my Windows PC that has a Ryzen 5700X 3D processor and an RTX 2070 Super GPU. Now you must be wondering why I'm planning to use the game's official FSR frame generation implementation considering we can already use Nukem 9's mod in this game. The thing is, this game supports a cinematic display mode. In this mode, Nukem 9's mod produces some graphical artifacts. The mod only supports a few aspect ratios and cinematic mode is not one of them. People who are facing any issues with Nukem 9's mod in this game can also follow this method. Before jumping into the gameplay, I would like to thank Keymailer and Xbox for providing me with a free monthly subscription of PC Game Pass. This subscription gives us access to hundreds of games. We can play these games for as long as we want until our subscription expires. Many new AAA games are available on Game Pass day one of their release. Even EA Play membership is included with Game Pass. In India, Microsoft even supports UPI mode of payment. Indiana Jones uses Vulkan API. You need to download a specific version of OptiScaler mod that supports Vulkan inputs like FSR 3.1 and XCSS. This is the build that I'll be using version 0.7 preview 715. It's available on OptiScaler's Discord server. I'll give the Google Drive link to this build in the description of the video. Just click on this dot 7z link. For some reason, OptiScaler mod was not able to access the game's official DLSS subscaler file which is present in the Streamline folder. I had to manually provide the game's DLSS subscaler file in the games directory where the game's main exe file is present. Just download the latest version of DLSS subscaler from Tech Power Ops website. At the time of recording this video, this is the version 310.2.1. Click on download here. Click on any of these servers. Download will start. In order to verify DLSS subscaler's details like version and model preset, I'll be using DLSS debug overlay. In order to activate DLSS force transformer model, we just need to set the model preset to K. I'll be executing the registry code provided by Emos. Just copy these lines. Create a new text file anyway on your PC. Name it anything you want. I'll just name it as overlay. Change the extension from .txt to .reg. Enter. Yes. Select right click open with notepad. Paste the lines here. File. Save. Close. And run this registry file. This will activate the debug overlay. Now if you want to disable it, just replace the number 4 here with 0. Click on file, save, close, run this registry file. I'll revert the change as I want to enable the DLSS overlay. Open. Click on yes. OK. I'll show you the game settings. This game consumes a lot of VRAM. My GPU only has 8 GB of physical memory, so I'll set the texture pool size to low. Even with the low setting, VRAM usage will be close to 8 GB. In game settings, display mode set to borderless windowed, resolution full HD, yeah, picture framing set to cinematic, in game vsync off, motion blur chromatic aberration film grain disabled, depth of field disabled as well, texture pool size set to low, rest of the settings set to medium, vegetation animation quality set to ultra. This is very important before installing the mod just set upscaler to fsr and disable fsr frame generation otherwise the game will crash using the upscaler's quality preset does not matter just wanted to show you the settings now i'll install the mod open the mods archive file copy the highlighted files need to paste them in the games install directory open xbox pc app click on my library select the game click on the three dots here click on manage click on files click on browse open the games install directory open content folder paste the files here now just change the name of nvngx.dll file to winmm.dll now we need to paste the dlss subscaler file in this directory Open the upscaler's archive file, copy this dll file nvngx underscore dlss. Open the games install directory. Open content folder, paste the upscaler's file here. Mod has been installed. 
Now it's not a mandatory requirement to enable hardware accelerated GPU shuttling setting, but if you have an RTX GPU, just enable it, no harm in enabling it. Hacks is a mandatory requirement for using DLSS frame generation. Right click on the desktop, click on display settings, click on graphics, click on advanced graphics settings and enable hardware accelerated GPU scheduling from here. If your monitor supports variable refresh rate, enable the setting as well. Now just enable VSync from NVIDIA control panel. Click on manage CD settings, click on program settings. From this drop down bar, select Indiana Jones and the Great Circle. Scroll down to then enable VSync from here. Apply the chain. My monitor is G-Sync compatible. I'll enable the corresponding settings for it. Click on setup G-Sync and enable the following settings. Enable G-Sync, G-Sync compatible. Enable for full screen mode. Enable settings for the selected display model. I'll also enable G-Sync indicator. This is optional. Click on display here and check this setting. G-Sync compatible indicator. Where are you to run the game? Just make sure afterburner or RTSS is not running in the background. Otherwise, the game will crash when you enable official FSR frame generation. I'll just use NVIDIA's performance overlay to show you the performance metrics. We are in using the same settings as before. Upscaler still set to FSR. Don't need to switch to TLSS. When you set the game's upscaler to FSR, you'll get access to FSR frame generation setting. Now, don't enable OptiScaler mod menu with FSR frame generation enabled. Otherwise, the game will crash. I'll just enable the mod menu now. Press the insert keyboard key. Yeah, it's working. Select the upscaler from this drop down bar using TLSS latest version. Check the setting auto exposure. Save INI. For some reason, TLSS auto exposure setting is disabled by default in this game. Auto exposure setting helps in reducing ghosting effect produced around some objects in the environment also fixes the shimmering effect produced by shiny objects in the environment okay this is the opening sequence takes place in peru check out the dlss debug overlay in the bottom left corner model preset used is k version of the upscaler latest base resolution 1280 by 540 upscale to 1280 by 811 pixels cinematic mode auto exposure setting is on Base FPS is close to 90, so input delay should not be a problem. After enabling FSR frame generation, NVIDIA Reflex will not work. It's not compatible with official FSR frame generation implementation. Just enable it now. On. Back to the game. Yeah, FPS increased to around 140. Can observe the added amount of smoothness. Wow, it's so smooth. Slight increase in latency, but it's manageable. Games hard elements are not flickering. Even the subtitles are not flickering. But the DLSS debug overlay is flickering as expected. It's not a part of the game's interface. After verifying the upscaler's details, just disable it. Cutscene. Frame generation smoothing effect gets disabled during the cutscenes. And this is the official FSR frame generation implementation. Skip the cutscene. back to the game frame generation is working again okay i'll just disable this dlss debug overlay now just need to edit the registry file that we created earlier open it using notepad replace number four with zero click on file click on save close run this registry file yes okay that's it now i'll test the game in the city of vatican we are in yeah, here FPS is close to 145. Game is running very nicely. Not observing texture shimmering in the environment. Texture shimmering is produced around the windows and balcony railings when we are using FSR upscaler here. Does not happen in the case of TLSS upscaler. Check out my character's shadow. Yeah, it's looking a bit blurry during motion. Common FSR frame generation related artifact. Hopefully AMD will be able to fix this issue. No artifacts are produced around our equipped item again games hard elements are not flickering i'll just engage in combat now oh my god took down that guy block that attack you just need to press left alt key we can even parry the attacks press the alt key right before our enemies attack lands 
so that's it for the video guys i hope you find it useful thanks for watching and have a nice day